Welcome back to We The People News. Please subscribe, please leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel, allowing me to do this. Thank you so much. Yesterday's video, if you did not see it, please go back and watch it. I will link it to the end of this video. There's a lot of good information on that video. I don't want you to miss, and it would help me out on YouTube. Thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I make a video. Okay, y'all, this video is a little different from me. I normally don't talk about this to anyone. I mean, even my closest friends don't know this. But y'all, my blue lights back there, for this video, I wanted it to be green lights, but I don't have a green filter. I thought I did, but the green lights would have been good for this video. Okay, y'all, I have been wanting to make this video for a while now. But I have been a little scared to make this video because of, you know, well, the haters on YouTube. Anytime they find out one little personal thing about you, they will use it against you forever. But I told my wife about this and she said, well, your channel is about truth, right? So there you go. Here I am doing the video. I will answer frequent ask questions at the end of this video about medical marijuana first y'all when when all of this fad started with medical marijuana i did not buy into it i was totally against it because they was coming up with all these things that medical marijuana cures cancer medical marijuana does this it does that it does this and you know I had stage four throat cancer and I also had two friends that had it at different times. They was both dead within two weeks after being diagnosed. Well, they stayed stoned 24 seven, you know, but what I did not take into consideration is they also smoked cigarettes like a chimney and they also both drank almost 24 seven. So that's the reason nothing really helped their cancer. In fact, doctor asked me when I first started going to him, do you drink or smoke? I said, no. He said, well, good, because if you said yes, I would not treat you because it would be a waste of time and money. So I did not believe in it at first. And then later on, I come around. Why I didn't believe in, believe it, I mean, I, I was seeing other people but in reality everyone is different and what helps everyone is different so I shouldn't have waited so long but I have been taking it now for about eight months and uh, I can't say enough good things about it it does completely take away the pain Y'all, I was in so much excruciating pain 24-7. I would have to take six or eight over-the-counter, like I leave or Tylenol, uh, a day just, just to manage the pain. I would take four in the morning at one time when I woke up, and later on in the daytime, I would have to take two more. Right now, I take no pain pills at all. It got me completely off of those. And those over-the-counter pain pills, if you didn't know, they're horrible for your liver. They're horrible for your kidneys. They're horrible for the lining of your stomach. They do all kinds of damage for a long term. Now, if you need it for one or two days, that's fine. But long term, taking those over-the-counter painkillers plays havoc on your health. Y'all, everyone said that I needed to try medical marijuana. And I didn't want to. And another another reason is uh, my brother. They always said that you can't get addicted to mar medical mar to marijuana. My brother was totally addicted because just as soon as he run out, you did not want to be around him. He was stoned twenty four seven. But I talked to the doctor and I told her why I did not want to take it. I told her about my brother. He says, she said that 
everyone is different. Some people has an addictive personality. They will get addicted to drinking a glass of water. It's all up to you. She said, I don't think you're going to have a problem because you've seen what can happen in the past. So she prescribed me medical marijuana and I asked her because I knew nothing about it. I mean, the whole gamut about medical marijuana, CBD oil, is so confusing. It's so many different strands. It's so many different formulas. It's so confusing. People don't know what to buy. So I asked her, I said, how many doses are you going to give me? Because you have to go back to that doctor every year. She said, don't worry about it. I'm going to give you so many. Years. There's no way you're going to use it all. She said, I'm going to give you 2,400 doses. Uh, so she did that. She said, I don't mind padding it, giving you more than you need because you, it can't hurt you. No matter how much you take, it can't hurt you. So she said, if you, if you happen to overdose on it, the worst that could happen is you get a good night's sleep. So I took it. I finally broke down. When I asked my doctor to refer me to a doctor for medical marijuana, he said, sure, not a problem. And he went right into explaining to me. He said, the reason I have never mentioned it to you, our practice in this hospital, Sacred Heart Hospital in Pensacola, Florida, pervid, per, tells us we can't suggest it. But once a patient asks us about it, then we can help them get it. But we can't suggest it. So he said most hospitals and doctors are like that. So you have to ask your doctor about medical marijuana. He's not going to he's not going to just tell you about it. Y'all everyone said that I needed it. Over on Facebook, my high school teacher is now my good friend. I'm happy to say back when I was first diagnosed with cancer, he said, Walter, you need to try medical marijuana. He was the first person to tell me about it. And I didn't want to. I, I said flat, no. But I am so glad that I finally broke down and tried it. This teacher was a good teacher, and I'm so happy to say that he is a good friend today. We don't see eye to eye on political stuff at all. But I don't hold it against him, and I hope he don't hold it against me. Like eight months ago, I finally broke down and I asked the doctor to refer me. He did. I mean, I went to see that doctor, and I'm going to tell you up front. In my state of Florida, there is a $200 fee that you have to pay to get that medical marijuana card. That's once a year you have to pay that. And you'll get it in the mail in about two weeks. So when you first go see the doctor, you don't, you don't go right away to the uh, dispensary and get the medical marijuana. You have to wait for that card to come in. Like I said, the pain is completely gone. Uh, if I feel the pain start coming back, I just go take a little bit more and that kills the pain. Y'all, please stay tuned for the questions at the end because that's going to answer a lot of things that you may have been thinking about. Okay, the pain completely gone. Sleep, it does not help me with sleep a bit. A lot of people say that it helps them sleep. It gives me no help at all for sleeping. But just the pain part makes it worth my while to take it. Y'all, when I, when I get, was getting chemo and radiation, they destroyed my, my thyroid gland. And thyroid helps you sleep at night. So this problem that I'm having with sleep will probably be for the rest of my life. Y'all, again, those painkillers plays havoc on your body and your health. So if you can do anything to get off of all those over-the-counter painkillers, do it. And... I know a couple that's got a, a child that has epilepsy. That child had many epilepsy seizures a day. They got that child on medical marijuana. She has one seizure a day now. 
So it helps with all kinds of stuff. Uh, a lot of my wife's health problems would be helped with mar medical marijuana, but she's just like I am. She don't want to try it yet. And I'm not going to push her. Y'all, this stuff is really getting a lot of people off of all that poison that Big Pharma is pushing on you for a fraction of the cost. That's the reason these hospitals and doctors don't want to come forth with the information until you ask them because it's a fraction of the cost. Okay, y'all, I'm going to answer some frequent asked questions here. The big question, right off the bat, will I get high if I take this? Yes and no. When you first get it, you have to decide how much you're going to take. If you take too much, you're going to get high. If you take too little, you won't get high. Now, I take the gummies is what I use. I don't smoke. I can't stand the smell of it. And I don't think with my throat, with the throat cancer, I don't think that would be a good idea. So I do the gummies. Now, I do a half a gummy in the morning and a half a gummy at night. With me, my size, my weight, and everything, it don't get me high. But now, a few times I have taken a full gummy. Like uh, if it's hurting real bad or I know I'm going out for the day and I'm going to be walking around a lot, I take a full gummy just to give me some extra, you know. Now that gives my head a spin. I am pretty wasted for about two or three hours. And that's another good thing. If you've ever smoked marijuana, the feeling from this stuff lasts longer. But... Okay, let's get back into the other questions. How to get medical marijuana. I've covered that in the other part, but I will cover it real fast here. You ask your doctor for a referral to get medical marijuana if you're in chronic pain or any other health problems. He will do it because this is totally up to you. So he will refer you once you go to that medical marijuana doctor you fill out the paperwork you talk to the doctor tell them the symptoms and what it's doing and uh, they will go over all the different products with you and how they could help you after you fill out the paperwork you pay your $200 fee to the state they'll send it in once that happens you'll get your card in about two weeks I should have brought my card in here so I could show it to you. But uh, you'll get your card in about two weeks. And then you just go to the dispensary of your choice. And they'll do the initial paperwork, you know, like you would be going to a doctor's office, that kind of stuff. Put your information in their computer, and then they'll take you in the back. And that's locked. Only you can go back there. You can't bring anyone to the, to the dispensary with you. Not even in the waiting room. And they watch you when you come in. They walk with you to the back to do the shopping. They lock the door behind you. And when you leave, they watch you all the way out to your car. Make sure nobody robs you of your, of your goods. So that's how you get it. It's very easy. So I know it sounds confusing, but once you do it one time, you're good. How much does it cost? Okay, the $200 fee, you, there's no way to get around that. That's a once a year thing. And then the gummies that I take is $25 a bottle. Just about everything is $25 to $35, you know. Whether it's a container of joints pre-rolled rolled, or buds or the liquid whatever you decide to take they also have chocolate candies i hear those candies are real good but i hadn't tried those okay will my insurance pay for this no it will not sorry to say and i don't know why it would save them a lot of money in the long run but you know how our government works
will it help me and if it don't what what do I do next okay if if you take it first couple of days is, is, is experiments and if it don't help you you they they suggest you take a quarter the first day and if that don't help you the next day go up to a half if that don't help you go up to three quarters do it in quarter gummy increments until you get to the right dose that you need and don't worry about overdosing because like the doctor said the, if you do overdose on it the worst that could happen is you get a good night's sleep okay y'all all the confusion about uh, CBD THC and all of that THC is what you need to kill pain and to do all the wonderful things CBD all that does is relax you and make you go to sleep hopefully so THC is the part of the marijuana plant that gets you high so if you take enough of this you will get high the bad part about this is no matter how much you take the bad stuff that comes with regular marijuana the cotton mouth the munch is real bad yeah you still get those even though it's not smoked you still get your cotton mouth and you still get the munches terribly bad so that's the good the bad and the ugly I guess okay am I happy with what it does for me I am extremely happy uh, I wish I had tried it before what are the side effects of medical marijuana absolutely no side effects and again if you overdose you'll get a good good night or a good day sleep but there is absolutely no side effects and you know we can't say the same for all that big pharma poison that they sell you okay y'all if you if you're still here at this point I want to say thank you so much I got a little show and tell what I'm going to show you now. Now, before I show you this, I have to tell you, I am not sponsored by anyone on this video. So, no, this is not a sponsored video. Okay, this is how it comes. Wana is the name of it. They put your prescription, all your information on the bottle. And if you ever transport this anywhere, if you don't have this and you're stopped by a cop, guess where you're going? You're going to jail. When you leave the dispensary with all your, I go one time a month, I get multiple bottles one time a month. When you leave there, go straight home and put it away. You don't need to carry this stuff with you. Now, when you're traveling to another state, if, like I got this in Florida, if I'm going to another state, I can't take this. So, therefore, I will have to take pain pills with me. Do not ever rip your, your prescription off the bottle. That's proof that it was given to you. And if you're ever driving somewhere and you got this in your car, be sure and have your card with you also. Y'all, this is what they look like. Open the container. Now, I'll leave my label on it so it will have a hinge. But this is what the gummies look like if you've never seen them. They're just square little gummies. And I say take a half. It's not an exact science. Just put it in your mouth and take off half of it. Put the other half back in the bottle. That's your dose for later tonight. I've already took mine about an hour ago. So... And you see how clear-minded I am. Well, clear-minded as I ever be. Uh, but y'all, y'all, if, if you suffer from chronic pain or any kind of illnesses, please consider medical marijuana. I am so happy I finally gave in and done it. Y'all, I know this video was different, but please sound off in the comments. Have you ever tried medical marijuana? Do you think you need it? Uh... What has it done for you? Please sound off in the comment. Your comment may help someone else decide whether it's for them or not. 
Y'all, I love you all, and I'll say just like I've always said, and I will always say, no matter what YouTube does or says, keep your faith in Jesus Christ. He will get us through this stuff. Say a prayer for our world. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for those people in Washington that they will do, do the right decisions for the American people. Also, say a prayer for everyone hurting through COVID, financial hardship, or any other affliction. Please don't forget my brother in your prayers. Uh, I am really worried about him. and I talked to him yesterday and he broke down crying. Y'all, I love you all. Until next time, ciao.